Deglazing a diamond tool is really just a matter of abrading the surface of the diamond so that the individual crystals will resharpen. On a hard surface such as this one, which was previously polished, the diamonds start out cutting pretty well, uh, making dust. You can tell that the diamonds are actually doing something, but by the second pass, it's pretty clear that they're not cutting nearly as much. For the third pass, what's put down is a fine mesh sand. The fineness of the sand is equal to or maybe even more fine than the diamonds themselves, which is a 70 grit. Being a high grit diamond, they are going to be more prone to glazing or rounding over or losing a sharp edge so that they continue to cut without the use of water. After putting down some sand, a fine mist of water is sprayed over the top of it. The water is not to do a so-called wet cut as much as to give that sand some weight to hold it in place so that when the grinder comes over it, it won't immediately suck that sand up off the floor. It'll allow it to stay under the diamonds, which is where it needs to be so that the diamonds can resharpen. As can be seen in the third pass, it takes one full pass to reopen the diamonds, but the amount of dust that's on the floor in the third pass is actually greater than even the first one when the diamonds were supposedly open. It's a pretty simple process to do anytime the diamonds stop cutting. The amount of sand that's needed will vary. A good rule of thumb would be 50 pounds per thousand feet, but certainly that can be reduced. Probably not increased because the more sand that's put on the floor, of course, that's going to create more waste that has to be picked up. As far as the amount of water, it's best to use a pump up sprayer and apply a mist because if too much water is put down, running a dry vacuum that's picking up wet waste or too wet waste, the filters that are made to only handle dry waste can certainly become damaged if the waste that hits them is wet. The idea is to just give the sand enough weight to stay in place while it's being cut to sharpen the diamonds. By the time that waste gets to the vacuum, it should be dry. So a little bit of experimenting and it's easy enough to figure out a way to keep those diamonds sharp and cutting. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them below. If you liked what you watched, please drop us a like. Thanks very much. Have a good day.